you can often save some money by replacing the rubber wiper refill instead of replacing the entire blade assembly. The list price for three wiper blade assemblies from Honda for this 2010 Honda Fit is $85.63. Three OEM refills cost $20.83, about one quarter of the price for the three blade assemblies. Before buying wiper refills, you'll need to know a few things. Determine if the original equipment manufacturer wiper blade assemblies are installed, or if they have been replaced with aftermarket blade assemblies. Prior to recent innovations in wiper blade technology, conventional frames dominated the market. The rubber refill blades are not standardized. As you can see from ANCO's refill specs, there are many different profiles and widths. Many auto parts stores no longer sell refills, so you can't take the old rubber blade to the store, compare the size and shape, and then for a few dollars buy the correct refill. To take the guesswork out of getting the correct refill for a conventional frame, buy an assembly from a manufacturer that sells refills for the frame. PIAA makes silicone refills and claims they last twice as long as rubber. Please comment if you have tried them. At Rock Auto, a pair of ANCO conventional blade assemblies cost a little over $4 plus shipping. A pair of ANCO refills cost a little less than the conventional blade assemblies. As windshields got larger, hybrid frames, like this OEM one from the Honda Fit, and beam style came onto the market. If you know you have hybrid type OEM frames, and you like the way wipers work, you will likely have to buy rubber refills from the dealer. Most sources say that you can't replace the beam style blades. I have seen some people pry off the end cap and replace the rubber blade. However, I haven't found a lot of sources that sell the refills for this type of wiper. To prevent the rubber refill from sliding out of the frame, most conventional and hybrid frames have some sort of clip on one end. The clip should be on the end that's closest to the hood. A notch on the end of the rubber blade holds this one in place. To remove this type, grab the refill a good distance from the claw, then push forward until it pops out of the last claw. If the refill has metal rails, pop them out. If they have notches, take note of their positioning. The rear wiper refill on this 2010 Honda Fit does not have any latching device. Both ends of the blade are identical. To remove this type of refill, push the refill to one end. On the opposite end, I have a gap. While maintaining the gap on this end, I'm going to pull and pop the blade out of the claw. If the refill has rails, try not to bend them. Reinstall the rails into the new rubber blade. Make sure any notches in the rails are oriented in the same direction as they were removed. Reinstall the rubber blade into the frame in the reverse order of how you removed it. Take care to feed the new blade through the claws properly. If there isn't a clip, slide the blade into the last claw, or if there is a clip, fasten it into the last claw. The hardest and most important part of replacing a rubber wiper refill is getting the correct refill for the frame. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.